MBs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fair Night City, where we lay our scene again. Uh, we are in Night City. We are in Cyberpunk 27. We're in I don't know 12 or 13th uh, episode of the No Gun Run, in which I use zero guns to play this game. Uh, why will it not let me find out where the assaults are in progress? There one is, right to my right. I'm going to do this uh, quick assault, and by that I mean fix this assault. Uh, and then we will get on our way. Uh, it doesn't look like they're actually assaulting people. I think there's a fair bit of police brutality in this game. Uh, which is probably not ideal. Anyway, we shall overheat everyone going on here. Overheat, 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 and hide. I am here, but thank you for asking. Um, and then we shall wait an appropriate amount of time. There are still dudes. Hello. Overheat you, and... Oh, I can't overheat you. Bodies have been identified. Well, yes, that's just because I've harmed all of your friends. And overheat you, and then I think we're about done with these uh, dudes. Uh, headhunter. I don't know what all of these stats mean. I'd ask you to tell me in the comments, but I don't really care. Um, so, I think they did that one because I am playing non lethally. I did that because he's uh, fallen over in a humorous way. Let us just grab a picture here that could be used, potentially, for the thumbnail. Lovely. Um, guns. Guns. Miscellaneous MacGuffin. A broken gun. A message. A message that we'll soon find out because it'll tell us that we should read it because of law reasons. Are you going to tell us that we should read the thing, sir, or ma'am, or... Tab. Second Wind, Roaring Phoenix. I'm assuming they're some sort of drugs that I should probably take and store. Max Doc certainly sounds like some sort of drug. Okay, moving on. Uh, if I could grab all of your stuff, that would be lovely. Uh, this person seems to have some good stuff. I should explain. Um, there are colour codes over various things, and the um, uh, the, the colour really uh, dictates how important it is. And I'm assuming that's important because it's just given me a cyberware capacity upgrade, which means what? Nothing that we can tell. I don't need any alcohol, thank you very much, but, you know, again, thank you for the offer. Okay, uh, is the drugs in here? The drugs are not in there. Well, maybe they are in there. No, that's a traffic... Uh, oh, sorry, that's a, a parking light. Is there any... there is bullets in here, and euro dollars, thank you very much. Is there anything else worth stealing? Uh, alcohol, don't care about, and nothing else. Okay, anyway, on our way. So, the object of today, uh, dear folk, is to do the following. I think today, unless we're going to steal something up there, which I probably feel like we should. I was going to say my uh, our, 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 our um, quest today is to go and meet Dexter Deshawn. Uh, the excitable fellow who will give us a quest which will um, make the storyline go further, but will otherwise annoy us. So instead of doing that, I'm going to turn to my immediate rights, and I'm going to do this steely quest and potentially neutralise that cyber psycho. We shall tell. We still haven't actually levelled up. So let's do that real quick. Do I want intelligence or do I want technical or body? I've heard that body is useful, and I've heard that technical is useful, because at some point, we need to, I don't know, be cybery. Cool might also be useful. Intelligence absolutely is useful. Um, but I think we are going to pick this, because it has a 10% RAM recovery rate. 
Uh, we do not want the second version of this. Uh, or maybe we might. Uh, control hex, quick, quick hex. Sounds like it's something from the deep south, but anyway. Control quick hacks, covert quick hacks, or the distract enemy quick hacks. I'm assuming that at some stage I will use those quick hacks. So let us acquire that, because then it means that we can then get all of these perks, potentially. Uh, which means that that would be useful. Also, the monowire. Monowire is basically a melee weapon. Um, it is the wire that comes out of your left wrist while you hack into things, which you can then use, I believe, as a weapon. Uh, now, whether we actually want to use it as a weapon, we don't know, but it does allow me now, I think, to get all of these. Anyway, moving right along. I shall leave that other um, uh, experience point for when we actually figure out what I need to do with them. Okay, so we need to turn right and backwards. Can't go across there, so we shall just run. Okay, hello Night City. Um, thank you for showing us this beautiful industrial area. I suspect I have to go down here. Again, I could call my car. Should I call my car? Probably because I want to get there quickly because I don't want to bore you to tears. So. Thanks to the AI work of, I don't know, Tesla or something like that, we have cars that will drive to you, but then you have to drive further. Um, it would be nice if you could just t say, teleport me here, fine sir. So, I'm not going to do that NCPD thing, even though it's very close. Instead, I'm going to turn right and hope for the best. Very squirrely, um, this type of driving in this particular game. Very easy to overshoot marks very easy to not know where you're going. But that's okay. Oh, let me just see if these guys need... Um, no, they don't. Okay. Those gentlemen uh, to my immediate right do not need apprehension. So, apprehend I shan't. Okay. Ooh, okay. Better, better, better. How far are we away from where we're going? Very far, because I've overshot the mark. Okay. Keep on going for two blocks, turn left. As I've mentioned on this uh, stream uh, multiple times, I can't actually set waypoints because of the way that my mouse is set up. Everything was fine until this game updated uh, a couple of weeks ago, and now it won't let me do nout. Slow down, wait for the cop car to leave and go down here. Okay, not exactly the path that I was wanting to take there, but it will still get us there. I basically just need to follow the arrow now. So, yeah, bad driving in this game. Um, I mean, it's not bad driving, it's kind of GTA levels of driving, you know. You're gonna get there, you're gonna bash into things, you're going to not want to drive too much. Okay, these look like they're the type of people who needs help or who need shooting profoundly in the face. So, initiation. I keep on rejecting her calls. Still recording a Maelstrom's initiation right. Paparazzo. You can find the real thing. Alright. Okay, so we are... Uh, did I accept that job? I may not have accepted that job. Let us accept that job. Rite of passage, 33 metres. Okay. Alright, oh, okay. 
All right, so basically this is a job for turning off all of the cameras or using the cameras for our own benefit, camera controlling. And, and then moving through each of the areas, removing the people from their consciousnesses and taking anything that isn't nailed down. Brandon Frost. Oh dear. Okay. Let's run away. Oh dear. Everyone's wanting to shoot me. That's not nice. Okay. So, we need to run away, overheat this dude, overheat this dude, and continue our running. And then we let everything cool down, hopefully. Oh, oh, this guy is running at me fairly fast to a point where I can't really run away. Or maybe I can. And also, I seem to have alerted the police to my general malfeasance. So we shall overheat them. And also, we want to lay low until the police uh, leave us be. And there are po policemen just over there, so we want to run away and hide. Scintillating content, I think you'll agree. But until uh, this star goes away, I don't know how, um, how much they're going to try to chase me. Seemingly not a lot, so I feel like I may have, um, okay, the policemen are almost done with their, okay, so I should now be able to basically go back and apologise to the people in blue. and ask their forgiveness. I shall also um, whack that guy. Uh, I thought I might have got rid of that guy. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to camera control again. And hope for the best. Alright. Cameras. No one there. No one there. But there is someone. I haven't got rid of all of them, sadly. No one there. No one there. No one there. I think basically we just keep on doing this. Until we see someone running at me. Um, maybe we just stay here because I feel like anyone who is going to run out at me is going to come from this location. Okay, alright, well let's... um. Let's start turning off cameras. Uh, scanner. No. Nothing we can do here. Alright. Alright, well let's just turn off some camera. Oh. Oh, there was someone in there. Okay. Well, let's turn off the cameras. Should I maybe jump up and see if I can get up there at all? I wonder if I can. 
Um, I may have mentioned in other thrilling episodes here, but it's one of the things I've been wanting to do is basically to get better legs. I don't know what you're talking about there, Sunshine, but, you know, thanks for asking. There's a camera right there. Okay, so, uh, one of the things I want to do in this game is to get better legs. Now, let me explain. In this game, um, there, you can exploit height really well. Um, so you can uh, jump up in your surrounds and then leap up onto roofs and things and that generally means that you've got a much easier way of it because you can find skylights to then go into and um, uh, spy on people etc etc but sadly uh, if I had better legs I suspect there'd be a place I could jump up on this um, pathway here Instead, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to grab everything. Uh, I'm going to save because save stomach scumming is uh, is completely fine in my book. I do not need to get good. I've spent many years playing FPSs and other things. I don't feel like I need to get particularly gooder than what I am. We need to get to a BD and an E9. So BD, 1C, 1C, that gets us all of those. Then we need to go to an E9. Where is there an E9? There's two E9s, okay. So E9, BD, E9, B9, ED, okay. Well, that was awful. Um, I pressed the wrong button. But I didn't waste your time, so I feel like there was a slight uh, moral victory there. Uh, because I've watched back on a couple of these videos, and I do get... Ooh, let's turn off that camera, shall we? And hopefully, planned procedures, messages, they're going to... Ooh. I have been alerted. Someone knows I'm here. Interesting. Uh, okay. Why would that happen? Is there a camera in here? Maybe there's a camera. There is a camera in here. Probably should have thought that one through. Part of my issue is that I'm, for a sneaky person, I kind of don't care as much as I should. I don't do as much um, careful checking of my surrounds. Okay, what else have we got? Hopefully I'll find some interesting cyberware here. This is a maelstrom, which I think in the law here is a kind of cybery kind of gang. They're into extreme body modification. If you saw the last thrilling installment of this run through, um, you would have seen them. They were kind of the bad guys in the whole um, uh, monk based episode. Uh, where there were two brothers uh, who had taken up holy orders and they were both feeling like, uh, or they were, had both been kidnapped by the Maelstrom uh, and um, uh, modified against their will. So the Maelstrom here are the bad guys. I suspect they're not going to be the bad guys the entire game. In fact, I know they're not because I've played this game before, though not in this way. I did not do that. I'd like the record to show that I did not do 
whatever has happened to this gentleman here. Okay, what is there to steal? Is there anything worth stealing? There's a med pack thing worth stealing. Okay, well let's steal that med pack. And there's also a rosary. For those of you who like decades. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else worth stealing here. So, onward we go. I've turned off the camera there, I believe. Yeah, the camera there. The camera there. See, again, I'm probably nowhere near as uh, careful as I should be in this uh, run through. Okay, we've got a, uh, a thing there that we can take or that we can hack into, some double doors that involve explosives. I don't know what that is, but that's fine. Let's um, make sure that the area is clear before we do anything else. Okay, I feel like the area is clear. And I have just turned off that camera. So, I think we're okay. Unless they've got many cameras running here. I also, I'm also slightly concerned because I feel like I wouldn't have uh, all of this sort of warning music uh, if there wasn't any enemies. There's an enemy. No, you're not. Okay. In the shade of an apple tree is a drama set in 20th century Ireland. Okay, so what have we got over here? This this person, presumably, hopefully they have some sort of key card, a money shard, guillotine, many conversations that we can read, that we don't want to read because most of the uh, conversations in this game are fairly boring. Um, okay, that is one of them. It's okay, mate. You're just, um, you're just asleep. You'll be fine. A book. Wonderful. Okay, so now that I think that we've got rid of all of the enemies in this area. And we do have, I think, a camera over here. So we'll just really quickly... decommission that and we'll also oh this one's going to be interesting to get to are we going to be able to decommission this we are okay I think that might be everyone. Uh, if it isn't, you shall find out very soon as I am forced to flee for my life. So let's um, continue on. Now there was around here a hacky type of opportunity. So we shall go do that. Here it is over here. And we'll be mercifully quick um, because I don't want to bore you with hexadecimal puzzles. 55A9 BD55. So it's better to BB BD5555. Um, or 55. No, you can't do 55. So go BD1C. Then BD55. BD. Mm, BD1C. 55. Five five. 
Again, no cigar. I'm too quick with these because I'm trying to at least make these run-throughs of vague interest. Okay, I have more Netrunner skills. Again, no idea. 20% lock on with smart weapons. Doesn't make any difference to me because I don't use smart weapons. Okay. Moving right along. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I've got more money from something. I don't know what it is, but that's great. Always happy to take money and a pipe as well, because why not? It doesn't seem like the sort of weapon that these guys should be using. I mean, pipe doesn't um, really reek of extreme body modification and use of eclectic cyberwares. Okay. Hmm. That will allow us... Yeah, you did. Also, can you shut up? I love how, just as an aside, I love how the future, everyone is incredibly politically aware. Um, uh, it's like, why would they be any different from now, honestly? Alright, let's uh, firstly use this and see what we can use. Yeah, I just wanted to use the data, mate. Files. Okay. I would like you to shut up now. Okay. Um, data received, get out of there. Close. Lovely, okay. Well, I will. Uh, answer. Got the data. Thanks, V. Get closed. Oh, more points. Two attribute points, one, uh, thing O point. Uh, and these are points that we will spend in our next thrilling episode because I think for today, I think we should be done. Downright pleasure doing biz. More gigs coming your way because we are sneaky sneaky and I think Regina likes sneaky sneaky. Anyway, as I was saying, we shall uh, pick this up where we left. Um, I suspect... Uh, next week if you are, or not, not next week, next time, if you feel such a, um, a notion, we may have to actually go see um, our, our friend uh, uh, Deshaun. Or we could do all of these other gigs that have turned up just now. Or we could try to go for this cyber psycho. So many possibilities and I shall le leave you on this magical cliffhanger and I shall see you next time.